Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm going to show you how I carved this beautiful pumpkin. It's an image of Starry Night by Van Gogh. And if you want to know any tips and tricks and step by step how I did this, keep watching. And I hope you like it and hit the subscribe button if you do. And I will see you next time. Enjoy. So we're going to take a large knife and cut an opening around the pumpkin stem on a little bit of angle and remove it and remove all the seeds with the spatula or any giant spoon. Uh, we wanna make sure that everything is cleaned out of the pumpkin. And if the pumpkin walls are thick like mine, just scrape a little bit more off from the inside wall and only in the area where you're going to carve into. So I printed this image. It's a Starry Night by Van Gogh. Um, I printed it in black and white and I made it to a size to fit my pumpkin. So I put it 85% smaller. The reason uh, why I print black and white, so I can see which parts I would have to cut out completely through the pumpkin. There are the white ones and the ones that will stay on a pumpkin are the black ones. I always um, have two copies. One, as you can see, I'm cutting out the individual pieces by exacto knife. And the other one is uh, just in case if I need to go over something or as a reference so I can look at the whole painting and see what I'm actually doing. In this case, when I'm cutting each piece around the line, so I have a just a general outline of each piece. You can see here I'm removing the individual pieces that then will be cut into the pumpkin. So the widest will be all the way through the pumpkin and the grayish ones are just gonna be removing the skin and the black, the skin of the pumpkin stays on. If you have a tracing paper, you can also just put the image against the pumpkin and the tracing paper and just trace it that way. Uh, I don't have it, that's why I'm cutting with the X-Acto knife. So now I'm gonna use a regular black marker and just trace the outlines of each piece. So I have a basic shape where I'm gonna be cutting into the pumpkin. This takes little time because the surface is not straight, but with little by little, you can make it work. Just reline things as you go. Here, I'm just making sure that the tree is exactly the same like on the image. This took me about, I think, five to 10 minutes to make sure everything was in line. So I'm just tracing a little bit more details, making sure everything lines up here with the individual pieces. So you can also hand draw a little bit more if you need to. So here is the finished drawing and now I'm going to use an exacto knife and cut. I'm starting with the stars because they're easy. They're going to be cut all the way through the pumpkin and they're the lightest object in the painting so we want to make sure so the candlelight can shine through it. So I go one by one, just cutting around it. I like to use X-Acto knife because it gives you more precision of the cut and it's easier to go through the pumpkin. For this uh, moon, I started with the X-Acto knife, but then it was too big of a chunk to remove it with the small blade. So I just changed into a bigger knife and it was easier to remove the outer um, pumpkin skin. And then I just continue back with the exacto. So you can go back and forth, knife, exacto knife, um, whatever if you prefer. And now we're gonna carve the rest of the sky. I'm just removing only the skin of the pumpkin. Later I will make detail ridges um, to make the brush strokes more visible um, so you will see that later on
I'm double checking here with the tree to see if the lines that I painted are correct because we're gonna be doing a little brush strokes that you can see in the painting just removing a tiny bit of the skin of the pumpkin and making each brush strokes out so that would be the edge of the tree so the tree stands out because it's all black there against the sky I'm gonna making more details for the hills and for the sky it will be just smaller ridges of the brush strokes and keep filling the sky with them around all the stars So at this stage we have the basic shapes already cut out so now we're gonna see how it looks at the dark so we can play around how deeper we need to cut into the pumpkin to get the desired effect. There is still more a lot of details that I'm missing on the bottom with the village and the hills so we're gonna start doing that and cut a little bit more details in the sky. So here I'm zooming in so you can see the little mini lines that I'm carving into the pumpkin. So these are the brush strokes that are in the painting. So you can see the direction of the hill. And now I'm marking where the smaller hills in front of the big one are beginning to be and marking those little tiny ridges into the skin of the pumpkin, just removing the top layer of the skin. Uh, so that way it gives the feeling of a brush stroke. And I'm filling in more details of the houses and so we can fill the little village that is in the painting. So just little by little, just removing a little bit more of the skin and making it a little lighter so the shape stands out of each of the house and the hills. I'm also finishing the little details in the hills and in the clouds and the sky just to make it more three-dimensional. Here you can see my finished pumpkin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and comment below in the description box. I would love to know and hear from you what kind of pumpkin design did you carve and any tips you can share with us. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.